We are just a few months into 2023, but already we've seen so many trends come and go and new things start to take off like never before. So in today's video, I want to share with you 10 trends that are doing so well in 2023, but still have a lot of potential for you to actually make new products and make sales in these niches because they either aren't overly competitive or there's a way that you could definitely stand out and niche down in a lot of these to make real sales and real money in your own print on demand business. I'm Hannah and on this channel I share about all things print on demand and making passive income. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you'd subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Like you probably know if you are a print on demand seller, research is one of the most important parts when it comes to actually creating a product that is going to make sales. So every single day when I create new designs, I'm always going to rely on a tool to actually help me see what's trending, see what has low competition and find new ideas. So the two that I really love and use frequently are Merch Informer, which really helps me get a good idea about what is trending and selling well on Amazon, but still has low competition. And then on Etsy, I rely on the tool Sales Samurai. That really helps me have insight into what sells, what click-through rate looks like, what keywords are doing well. So both of those, I've gotten a lot of ideas on the last few weeks. I've seen what has been selling really well. This video is in no way sponsored by them, but I will have all their information linked down below as well as discount codes to get 20% off if you are looking for a tool to help you be able to find a lot more niches and start making more sales in your business. All right, so with no further ado, let's get into those 10 niches that are selling like crazy in 2023. The first trend and niche that is going crazy this year is one that it might sound kind of crazy to you when I share it, but that is actually the reading library, the bookish niche, literary niche, everything that has to do with being a reader is selling like crazy. So reading library shirts, those have never really gone out of style. But last year, we started seeing so many people actually wanting to read and calling themselves readers. So there has just been a huge influx of new readers, of people getting re-inspired to start reading, to become a better reader. And along with that, we've seen so many shirts selling in those reading and literary niches. I couldn't believe it, but I actually have quite a few different library and book niche shirts that I've been posting throughout the last couple of years. And some of them that haven't ever done really well. This year I started seeing they were selling multiple, multiple times every single month just because so many more people are interested in buying items about reading. Now, there are tons of ways that you could take this. You can make sure it's about going to the library, about how big your book collection is, about just being a reader, about certain genres of books like fantasy or even books about theories or sci-fi. So just there are so many more readers and people that are really considering this a true hobby. I know I am one of those people that I've always been a reader, but in the last couple of years, it seems like because of places like BookTok and YouTube and just people having friends that are wanting to read more as well, it's really fun and inspiring to actually jump on that and start picking up more books as well. So last year, I actually read a little more than 100 books. So I'm definitely part of this. I've just found a new love for reading. So I definitely understand why these shirts are going crazy. But anything that has to do with library, reading, or your book collection is going to sell really, really well. The next trend or niche that has been doing so well, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon, might not come as a surprise to you, but it is the niche that is one groovy blank. This is the type of design that I love when it starts trending because there are so many ways that you can take this that a lot of people haven't thought of. With that one groovy blank niche, you could actually insert hundreds of different types of words and niches, putting it into so many other niches that are doing well. So even taking that last niche that I shared, you could take the book or reading niche and you could create a shirt in that groovy wavy style that says one groovy reader or one groovy librarian. Really the possibilities are endless with this. And since it's basically just a text design, it doesn't take a lot to make hundreds of these types of designs in so many different niches. But really this wavy, groovy aesthetic started really 
really taking off towards Halloween last year and it seems like every single month it just gets bigger and bigger with more and more niches embracing this groovy wavy style. So it's definitely a trend that I see sticking around for at least a couple years. So you definitely want to get on the bandwagon of actually making these designs in some of the niches that haven't been saturated yet. So I definitely know teachers, parenting, all those sort of niches, they already have had an influx of so many of these groovy designs that are doing really, really well for those people that jumped on this trend quickly. But you still have so many of these other sub niches that really haven't had that groovy aesthetic applied to them. So I'm thinking smaller sports like pickleball, hobbies like farming or journaling. So really, any of your niches that do well, consider adding a groovy twist to them or using this phrase, one groovy blank. The possibilities are really endless. I'd love to see what you guys can do with this trend. The next trend that is doing really well, and this is one that I touched on on another video that I will link here, but this is the floral gothic or floral skeleton design niche. With the resurgence of a lot of more retro nostalgia, people wanting to wear Y2K fashion, I think this is something that was trendy a couple decades ago and it's really coming back. So these are your take on just the classic gothic shirt, but a lot girlier and with a lot more color in them. So I see a lot of really botanical designs with skulls or other gothic elements doing really, really well. This is a great design to use just graphics on, but you can also incorporate a lot of fun phrases and text too. But I see this doing super well into the rest of this year for sure. The next niche that has really just started to be on my radar, but I'm predicting that it's going to to grow and be huge in the next few years and that is going to be funny AI shirts. If you've been anywhere online recently you know that in the last few months there's a few different AI softwares that have really taken over like Midjourney or ChatGPT. So, so many more people are learning about AI, they're using it in their everyday lives, and more and more people are going to start incorporating this into the work that they do. Along with that, I think that a lot of these funny, sarcastic shirts are going to start having jokes and phrases associated with AI on them. We've seen a lot of articles being published about people already adding AI expert or AI question engineer being added to their resumes. So I definitely see as this becomes more and more part of our work, we see a lot of sarcastic and funny designs based on different jobs. So I definitely see funny AI shirt designs are really going to start selling well, especially as it saturates into more of the wider culture. So this is definitely one that you can jump on and you can be one of the ones that starts deciding what these phrases are going to be. There is not a ton out there right now, but I know that this niche is really going to explode so you definitely want to jump on it before so many people have. The next niche that has started to sell well and is going to continue to sell even better is going to be that Y2K aesthetic with these airbrush girly designs. So I actually showed exactly how to make one of these designs in this video here but I've continued to see these starting to rank and selling really well on places like Amazon and Etsy. People are still really loving this Y2K aesthetic for the early 2000s and it doesn't seem like this trend is going anywhere anytime soon. People are really gravitating towards these really fun, colorful, girly script font designs with some of that airbrush or spray painted aesthetic along with it. This is definitely a niche that I don't see going anywhere, especially as retro things just continue to grow in popularity. So it's one that you definitely want to check out and start making some designs for. The next trend and niche that I've been seeing do really, really well actually really surprised me. And that is golf shirts, but not just your average golf shirt. These are going to be golf shirts that are really geared towards the Gen Z and millennial golfer. Over the last couple of years, golf has seen an insurgence of so many younger players. Typically, this has been a sport for a lot older people. So a lot of times all of the ranking golf shirts will be talking about being an old guy who plays golf, maybe something that you would get your dad or your grandpa but there have been so many younger golf players. So golf designs have done way better in the last year or so than they have previously. More and more people are golfing. So I think it's a great opportunity to try to see what's out there and actually deviate a little bit and do something new within that golfing niche. I think a lot of shirts, especially around Father's Day, are going to start selling super well, but specifically to those younger golfers that maybe are in their late 20s or early 30s or even younger still in high school or college for those Gen Z golfers. So lots of opportunities to create new phrases and new 
niches within this golf niche all geared towards a younger audience. The next niche that is really doing well this year, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon, especially as we get into the later summer months and into the fall, and that is the niche Goblin Core. This is really magical, witchy designs that cross with that really cottage core cozy aesthetic. So you see tons of muted colors, a lot of distressing with things like butterflies and mushrooms and toads, and even skeletons and flowers. These are really great designs designs to just have graphics on them, but you definitely could add text too, and there's tons of really great phrases within that goblin core niche. These types of shirts really appeal to people who are really into fantasy, either books or games, and they just love that cozy but magical witchy feel that feels like you went to a cottage in a haunted forest. These designs do really well, but there's not a ton out there. There's a lot in that cottage core niche, but I haven't seen as many in this goblin core niche, and people are really searching for that word. So I definitely would capitalize on that keyword doing well and make some goblin core really cool designs. You'll have a lot of fun with that. Now, along with Y2K doing super well this year, we are still seeing so many people loving the 90s. So the keywords 1990s retro are doing so well. People really love a lot of the aesthetics of the 90s and a lot of the trends and how that looks. 90s isn't going anywhere anytime soon and people love the look of the graphic tees from the 90s. So this is definitely something that you could either incorporate into your niches that are already doing well or create a lot of designs specifically for that 90s retro aesthetic that people are looking to buy. The next niche that has been doing so well, I just can't believe it, is the cruising niche for 2023 and 2024. I talked about in a previous trends video here that vacationing and going on a lot bigger trips was going to go crazy in 2023. Because of everything that's happened, so many people have put off traveling for the last couple of years, but this year, and I definitely see this still increasing next year, is people are finally deciding that they feel ready and comfortable to take these big vacations. And so a lot of people are actually cruising this year. It's more safe to go on cruises now, and so people are taking advantage of that. So I have seen so many cruise shirts selling like crazy. The ones that have been doing really well is where they get even more specific. So it could say something about the cruise squad, but also where they're going to, on their cruise and the year. I've also seen cruise shirts with personalization. If you do sell on a place like Etsy with Printify that allows you to do some personalization with everyone having matching cruise shirts, but them having their a unique name on them or a unique phrase for the group that is going. Unless something else happens, I really don't see cruising slowing down. People are finally able to go out and take a lot of these vacations. So along with that comes a lot of opportunities to make more sales in these traveling and vacation niches that slowed down a little bit the last couple of years. The next niche that is going to do so well this year and really does well every year, but this year in particular, you need to start paying attention. That is political products and shirts. With next year being a really big general election year for the United States, the year before tends to be where things start really ramping up. So even though we're in the beginning of the year, people are starting to talk about who is going to run, what candidates we're going to have. And so with that, the year before the election and the first few months of 2024 are going to be crazy for political niches. With there being so many more candidates, just people talking about, there's lots more opportunities to find sub niches and make sales for people who are really passionate about different areas. So definitely both sides of the aisle, there's opportunities to make sales. There's lots of phrases and sub niches within this. So there's so many ways that you could take this. I do caution you just to be careful that when you are talking about political figures, first of all, you aren't copying any of their official merch and you are not defaming anyone. Definitely on Amazon, you need to be a little bit more careful about what you say. So I tend to just sell more generalized political items instead of getting a super specific, but there are lots of opportunities to make sales. You could even take some of the other trends that I've talked about and kind of cross them politically. So I really think that that groovy wavy font is going to go crazy for the political niche this year. So you could even do colors of the country that you're making this political merch for. So like for the United States, you could do red, white, and blue lettering in that 
groovy, wavy font. And I think those are going to do really well. So, so many opportunities to make a lot of sales in the political niche. If you haven't already, definitely start paying attention to who people are talking about and what the new phrases and niches are that people are interested in buying because sometimes something happens and then a new phrase just takes off overnight. And if you're the one to create that, you can make a ton of sales. If you want to make more sales, having the right niches and knowing what products to target will really change the game for you. So definitely I wanna encourage you to check out this video where I show you exactly how to use Merch Informer, which helps me find almost all of the niches that I target every single day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.